Hey guys, uh, welcome to a day in the life of college basketball. Um, it's currently 5.10 a.m. I'm waking up for a six o'clock uh, training session and I'm in my bed, as I do every day. About to have breakfast. So, I got myself some cinnamon pop tarts for breakfast. Big banana and uh, some orange juice. Credit to mum for ordering me some from Walmart. So uh, once we're ready, we pretty much just uh, go outside and uh, we actually train at the sports center, which is at Devil's Lake High School. Uh, so we just get in the car, drive over, and this is the stadium we'll be playing at. Um, and yeah, we get there about 10 minutes early, warm up quickly. Yeah, training's pretty intense and early in the morning. Hey guys, I uh, just got back from practice. It is currently, what time is it? 7.51 a.m. And uh, yeah, time to start the morning routine. Practice was pretty intense. Um, had a couple of people throwing up at the end of it. We were doing lots of conditioning, um, free throw shooting and running up and back for those that missed. Yeah, and now it's the start of my morning routine. About to go have a shower and have some breakfast and my first class is at 9 a.m. And uh, after training, I always have a cold shower. Um, I still to this day have only had cold showers because they're pretty refreshing. And then I kind of just want to think about my day and what my goals are. So I've got my goal on the door, which is to reach 220 in the uh, shooting drill. Uh, and here's my roommate Mo in the background on the phone. Um, so yeah, uh, as I'm getting ready and stuff, I kind of just want to slow down, take a couple of deep breaths and then off I head off to breakfast. Um, first up, I've got a breakfast burrito, a couple hard boiled eggs and some hash browns, then an egg and cheese croissant. Yeah, and then on my way back, I've got some packages that I ordered, which is my basketball shoes and a poster. So pretty excited to open them up, but I've got to rush off to my first class, which starts at uh, eight o'clock, I think. So yeah, um, I'm grabbing all my stuff quickly and um, I don't really have time to open anything up, but just head off to class. Uh, good thing is class is only really like two, three minutes away. So I pretty much rock up to class um, only a couple of minutes late uh, after having a shower and everything. Uh, but yeah, and as you can see when I'm in class, I'm pretty tired and yeah, it's only the start of the day. I'm just yawning right in front of the teacher's face. Um, and you can't exactly hide it either. There's only about five other students. So if you fall asleep in class, they're looking right at you. And on the way back, I went to check how much tuition was due because it was due that day and found out everything was actually uh, paid for in the end and I didn't have to pay three grand. So I just got back from class, had to rush to the toilet. Um, and I've got class again in five minutes. So I'm just gonna grab myself a healthy cucumber. These uh, deliveries are just staring right at me in the eyes because um, I can't open them, I don't have time. But uh, hopefully after class I will. After my second class, I'm pretty wrecked to be honest. So uh, yeah, welcome back to my room and it's finally time to open my packages. Um, I, now that I get to open them, I'm kind of too tired and I just want to fall asleep, but I'm going to open them. First reveal of the shoe box. <coughs> Woo! It's a nice looking box. Not bad, good size. If you can't already tell, I do a lot of online shopping because, you know, moving countries, there's a lot of stuff you know as you need. I'm gonna try doing one of those transition things, ready? And remember, you've got to use improvisation of resources. So I've got a thumbtack and a deodorant can for a hammer. I'm ready, ready, ready. And after that, I start my stretches and just kind of, you know, stretching my hamstrings and some other stuff just to loosen my muscles that get really tight from all the training that I do. Um, and then, you know, doing some ankle mobility as well. And during this time, I also spend some time being kind of present in the moment because my days are pretty packed. And it's time for my nap. And when I'm really busy, I take an almost religious 15 minute nap exactly. 
well, I set my timer for 16 minutes and almost all the time I wake up within the last minute without the alarm going off. As you can see, I'm looking good and refreshed. And after that, it's time for lunch where I have some chicken uh, bacon cheeseburger with curly fries and a drink. And then I have a wrap as well for seconds because I was pretty hungry as usual. Um, and now it's time to see the trainer uh, because I hurt my quad and we'll see what he says. So I pulled my quad. It's not too serious, but it's just kind of annoying. Uh, and put some compression on it and stretching it and relaxing it just for the next week or two. So here I am at our local uh, CrossFit gym, White Nights, where we're hitting bench today. Uh, so as you can see, I'm a big man lifting some weights and there's Colby behind me spotting me. Uh, this is my last set and I got a little bit, a little bit ahead of myself on the reps, but that's all right. Next exercise, we've got some squeezing uh, chest presses the plates these are always scary because i'm scared that the plate is going to fall on my face so i keep it pretty light and after that exercise is some weighted push-ups so i've got mason over here putting a plate on my back and just doing some slow push-ups and exploding up and after that i've got pull-ups that are uh, supposedly meant to be tempo pull-ups so you go slow on the way down but I can barely do pull-ups by themselves so yeah I'm kind of just jumping up cheating the way up and then just going as slow as I can on the way down uh, after that me and Mo decided to race each other on the rowing machine and he fell on his butt as you can see oh. well I'm back home from White Knight's weight room and it was a great workout. I'm feeling pretty drained physically. It's very hard for me to think, so studying tonight is gonna to be very interesting. And uh, about to have a shower, so i got to pick one of my two towels, because they're both equally crap, and there's my makeshift towel rack, so they don't really dry very well, so I just have to pick whichever one is the least wet. So, college life. <laughs> no, but uh, today's been pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> So I just finished my second shower of the day, another cold shower as always, still my routine, spraying my hair with sea salt spray, got my uh, Hugo Boss cologne that I put on, uh, one of the two that I brought with me, and here's another dumb transition of me putting my leg sleeve back on. Uh, so for dinner we had some macaroni and cheese, the beans, uh, and some banana, and I had some fruit on the side as a dessert. At this point, I'm really tired. My brain is lasting on one single brain cell at the moment. And I know I have a lot of study ahead of me. So I'm putting together a protein shake and I somehow managed to get protein powder everywhere on the desk. Um, and then, yeah, here's my history work that I've got to go through. This is a compilation of me getting easily distracted by house music because it's the only thing that motivates me to study, but also distracts me all the more. And Be Real Time, of course, has to post a Be Real. And I wrote a big paper. And here's my list of different homeworks that I have to do throughout the week and the days that I'm gonna do it. Well, it is currently 9 p.m. And I've just finished studying and I just spent some time also organizing my homework for the next four days. Doesn't look like a lot, but it's easy to simplify. Um, and I feel a lot more organized now that I have that down. Plus any work I'll get over the next two days, I'll have to add in there. And yeah, it's been a pretty non-stop day today, I guess. Waking up at 5 a.m. been non-stop. I've had about maybe a 40 minute break since 5 a.m. Not including meals, of course, uh, but yeah. 5 a.m. till 9 p.m., pretty full on day. Uh, and I think I'm gonna spend the next hour of time just switching off, watching some TV, um, eating some snacks, because you can never have enough food. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I'll probably aim for 10 p.m. bedtime and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs>